Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make a Christmas memory journal using Stamperia products, rice papers and stamps. While I made this into a journal cover, you can do the same thing on a canvas, wood panel or an art journal page. So I took apart the journal and I gave it a coat or two of white gesso by braying it on. That's the fastest way to get a good coat. I just wanted to give this a little bit more protection. Now I want to add some texture to the covers and I'm adding texture by using dollar store tissue paper. I crumple it up, put it on and I'm putting on a at least a couple layers, squishing it up, making sure there are lots of wrinkles because remember we're doing this to get texture and I really like the way these journals feel with this added texture. If you're doing more than two layers, you're going to want to let it dry in between. And once this is done, by gluing all the tissue paper down with the fluid mat medium, I do let it dry overnight. This is really important. Now I'm going to use this rice paper. This is Patchwork Christmas. It is kind of a remake of the Make-A-Wish series that Stamperia had. And there's lots of elements on here. And I'm just going to cut them all out, but I'm not going to make you watch that. At this time, I know I'm going to use the angel, but I'm not sure what other elements I'm going to use. Now, this angel didn't have wings, so I grabbed TCW's angel wing stencil, the six inch size, and I am going to give this angel wings, and I like how it turned out. And to give this angel wings, I'm going to use more tissue paper. And I'm going to use the champagne gold modeling paste by the Crafters Workshop. I believe that that has been replaced by champagne gold stencil butter. And I'm applying it through the stencil onto the tissue paper with a key card or old gift card. And I'm going to do more than one because, well, if I only did one, so if something happened to it, I'd have to start from scratch. And this is another part of this that this has to sit and dry. Now with your tissue paper, there is a shinier side and a duller side and both when I glued it onto the cover and this, I'm putting the doll side up. Now the wings that I don't use for this project are going into my stash. And since I love angels and wings, this won't be hard to use up. I decided that maybe I wanted to use the white pearl modeling paste, which again, I believe has been replaced by the pearl white stencil butter. Because I'm not sure which is going to look better on my background. So I'm getting this all done and then I will clean up once and set that aside to dry. So now it's time to colorize my, the four sides of this cover. And I'm going to use Amsterdam's greenish blue and Naples yellow with white gesso. And I'm going to, I want that teal color that I see in the Stamperia products, both in the rice paper and their scrapbook collection. So I'm taking my idea for background from that. Although you can do a beige background, you can choose to do a different color background if teal wasn't your thing. 
I'm make, applying this to the inside of the covers. I'm kind of tweaking the color blend on the inside before I do the outside that's going to be more visible. I figure if I make a mistake, I can easily cover it up on the inside as opposed to the outside that has the texture. And it'll just be a little bit more difficult to correct. So with the journal, because I'm doing all four sides, it's a little bit of work. And there's a lot of moisture going in, which is why I sealed it with gesso to begin with, and giving it dry time in between. So I'm noticing that this is fairly dark and I want my angel to really show up. So I'm going to lighten this by doing a wash of white gesso. Now I've got gesso off to the side and I've sprayed the cover and sprayed the gesso to thin it down somewhat. And then I'm just going to wipe it off with the baby wipe. And you can see from one side to the other how this just lightens the overall color. So it's an easy way of just knocking back that color, lightening it without getting rid of it. And I like how that pops a little bit better. Now parts of this video I've sped up a lot if it's a duplication of something that I've already done. But I did lead, leave each of the parts in so that if you were following it, you would know that you have to do those parts. So here I'm just tweaking it with more. So now that I have the color blend correct, I am colorizing the front and back cover. And because I had to knock that back with white gesso, I'm adding a little bit more gesso into the mix initially. So maybe I don't have to apply the wash of gesso. The nooks and the texture from the tissue paper is adding oh so 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 much to the the front and back covers. It's getting caught in the nooks and crannies. It's you can see the texture. It's the color just changes as it gets caught in those texturized notes. So now I want to incorporate some of the colors that are in my angel into the background. So I'm getting Prussian blue and using the Stampendous dot stamp. Now I will link to all the products that I have used in the description box below where I can find them. Many of the products, the Stamperia products that I have are available at ninniesnapkins.com. She provided me with the materials to do this video as well as some of the stamps that I've had in my stash for a while and are good, good basics. So I've stamped with gold as well and the Prussian blue. Now I'm grabbing this star stamp from the Stamperia. I'm not sure if it's the Make-A-Wish or the Patchwork Christmas stamp set. There are stars from both of them of different sizes and here I'm grabbing a slightly small actually two sizes and I'm going to stamp with gold on the cover I want that bling and I want the the stars behind so I'm using the Ranger blending tool and I'm putting gold paint onto the stamp and then stamping and I'm doing two different sizes of stars I want this background to be interesting, but I don't want anything that's on there to really compete with the focal image angel. So I'm using the blending phone as a stamp pad. And I do wash my stamps after using them with them. 
Now I want to add some of that red, but I don't want a lot of red. So I'm using a very fine stamp, very small scale. I want it to be there a little bit, but not a lot. So that's why I've dropped it to the smallest scale that I have. And this is a French script stamp. Testing it out. So now that I'm happy with it and I've played a little bit with the orientation and the setup, I am going to do the back cover and then the insides. So I stamped with the dark Prussian blue. Now I'm stamping with the red. I'm stamping with gold and the dot stamp and the order really doesn't matter it's going to give a slightly different effect so but there is no wrong and here i'm stamping with the stars again now because of the front cover and the back cover are the same and they both have the tissue paper texture i will choose whichever one looks best for my front And here I'm going super fast doing the inside covers, following all the same steps. Wouldn't it be great if we could all craft so quickly? So now I need to add the wings to my angel. So I cut them apart from the tissue paper and I'm cutting off the excess. Now tissue paper is fairly stable. It's a little flimsy to cut, but not bad. And I'm cut, so I can cut out as much of it as possible. When I glue this down with the fluid matte medium, the white parts that I don't cut out turn translucent but I want to remove as much of the excess as possible. Now one wing wasn't enough, so I'm gonna layer two wings on there and I'm just playing with how I want that to look. And I realized that I've grabbed two of the same side wings. So back to the drawing board, I need to cut out the other, the opposite side of the wing. And then I decide, oh, I want to cut out that white pearl one. And I decide to go with the gold. So I want, there are some words that I'm going to put on the front of the journal, as well as a bit of a poem on the inside flap. So I've printed that out, what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to transfer, I'm going to copy that onto rice paper or tissue paper, I'm sorry. And the tissue paper will go translucent when you glue it down with the fluid matte medium. Now I'm taping this down really well and underneath I can see what, how big of an area I need to fill. I don't take this right to the edge, that seems to cause my printer to jam. And I smooth it out as much as possible and cross my fingers. So now I'm assembling all the details. I could put the Christmas tree or the town in there. There was that other, the element that was at the top. I decide to stamp out, I have a yellow oxide star on sticker paper. So I stamped that and I'm going to add that to my mix. Not sure if I want it on the tree, if I want it on the angel holding it. And I decide that I'm going to put the town in. It just, the composition seems to work better. But you can play around with all the elements. Now that I know where the angel wings are going to go, I'm leaving one in place and putting fluid matte medium on under and over pressing it down. Now remember, you have texture on that cover, so you might have to work a little bit to get it on. Using rice paper, the rice paper holds up pretty well, 
to the wet medium. You can remove it if you wanted to. And it still stays very stable, which is different from a napkin. If a napkin, once you wet it down, it's pretty fragile. The rice paper has more stability to it. When I use the matte medium, the even though my background here is fairly dark, the colors stay bright. Later on, I will be adding a little bit of a wash of color to the houses and the angel just to pop up the color. But I'm happy with the vintage feel of the colors. Okay, I'm just finalizing the second wing placement and the sentiment. Now this sentiment, this is not the tissue paper sentiment yet. This is, or labels, this is just regular on regular copy paper and I'm using this to figure out where I want to put it. If you put the tissue paper in there, it tends to, if it gets paint on it or whatever, you have to then recopy it. So do yourself a favor. So here's the tissue paper. I leave the copy paper backing on to cut out. And again, I'm removing as much of that excess tissue paper as possible. And since I've already figured out where the words are going to go, I can just take off the copy paper one and put the tissue paper one. So on the cover, I've just chosen to put the words Christmas memories, love shared, memories made. Now this journal is going to be used to write down your favorite things that happened each Christmas. So every Christmas you take it out from the decorations. You can read what's happened in Christmas's past and relive those special memories. And then throughout the Christmas season, write this year's Christmas memories in. So it's a home decor item that is usable as well. And now I'm just gluing down my angel now that the wings are in place. I'm going to cut off a little excess of the wing. Sorry, that's out of, out of focus. I just wanted to get rid of that a little extra bulk. If you went with a darker background, you may have to white out the area that's directly underneath the rice paper elements. And that will keep your colors really, really bright. I decide I'm going to dangle the star. So this was on sticker paper, so I just peeled and stuck. And then I'm going to draw a white line so it's down. So this is the inside cover, and I've cut out the sentiment this poem, and I chose a bolder font for this, and I'm applying a lot of fluid matte medium and gluing it down. I'm making this for craft fair makes. Or this makes a beautiful gift. I could have stamped that Christmas tree on there, but I decided to use the rice paper Christmas tree on the front cover. The front cover you're going to see quite a bit. And then I had this Merry Christmas. Again, there were lots of different elements in that rice paper. Now on the back cover, I just chose to use the town stamp and I'm using black archival ink. So I have the town at the bottom and I'm gonna put the angel up top. I could have used more of the rice paper elements. I just chose to use them to save them for some other project.
and then I'm stamping the Merry Christmas. Now the inside of the book, this is where you're going to write your memories. And I decided with a combination of the Make-A-Wish stamp set and the Patchwork Christmas one, I stamped the right side of the page, alternating these five different types of stamps throughout the book. Now someone could color these each year, but I just wanted to add that. So, I mean, there's a hundred, I think there's a hundred pages all told, probably 50 on the one side. So it, it took a while to do that, but let me tell you, these stamps are awesome. I am not the best stamper by far, and pretty much every single time I got a perfect stamp. You wanna make sure your stamp pad's really juicy, Now that that's done, I've gone back to this angel. This has been dried and I'm going to shade. Here I'm shading with black acrylic paint and I'm just adding some detail onto this angel. I also do some detailing and shading on this village. If you do a search for Stamperia, Patchwork Christmas, or Make-A-Wish, you'll see the variety of scrapbook pages and rice papers that they have in these collections. And even though the Make-A-Wish collection was is an older one, sometimes those are still floating around in some of the stores and you may still be able to get them. And the angel, while this I've taken this to, into Christmas, it isn't necessarily just for Christmas. I really like that patchwork detail at the top. And I think if I didn't have that, I would actually paint that on. So if I wanted it on the bottom, here I'm just adding some gold to various parts of my focal images, to the star, to the banner at the top, to parts of the angel's dress. There wasn't any gold there, but I'm introducing it. I'm taking what they have, taking inspiration, color scheme from what they've done, and then making it my own. If you can't get the rice papers, you can get the scrapbook papers. You can do the exact same thing with the scrapbook papers. Just edging it with black. and adding a little bit more shading. And I believe I come in and I do some highlighting with white as well, but I, I don't know if I caught that on video. So I'm hoping this will become a nice family tradition for some family. Love how the bling. Now here's the finished one. I put two coats of poly, Minwax polycrylic varnish. And that seals it nice to give, keep it nice. There's the front. And then all the stamped pages. I could go and stamp on the other side if I wanted to. 
personal choice. And you could use other Christmas stamps as well. But I really like the idea of it all working together. The back cover, the inside. I'll put a link to the video where I show how to put the coils back on. And here is a Christmas memories ornament that I've made. And I used, I made the, the Christmas ornament the same way on tissue paper. Here's what I put on the inside. These hang on the tree. I'll put a link to the, this video where I show how to make these using napkins. And here are close-ups of the finished project. Here's how I would display it on a plate rack during the Christmas season. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, that it inspires you to go and create, whether you're making a Christmas memory journal or whether you're making a canvas. Until next time, go get creative.